Welcome back everybody to this video series on how to write a Slack bot in the Go programming language. In this video, we're gonna actually write a Go program to programmatically post a message to our Slack workspace using the Slack application that we created in the previous video. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So I have my editor open here and I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code, but feel free to use whatever editor you prefer. And I've created a Go file and I've called it send-basic-message.go. So this is gonna be our Go program that uses that Slackbot user token to send a message to the general channel in our Slack workspace. So the first thing that I wanna do is just specify package main and uh, then specify uh, several libraries to import. Uh, the first is going to be FMT. And then secondly, we'll import uh, OS so that we can interact with uh, the environment, the system environment variables on this machine. And then finally, we're also gonna import our uh, Slack API client library, and that is github.com slash slack dash go slash slack. Okay, so that's pretty much everything we need, all of the imports that we need to be able to send a message programmatically to our Slack workspace. After that, I'm gonna specify a main function, so func main, and uh, inside of the main function, we're going to make our first call to this uh, Slack Go uh, client library, and we're going to uh, basically create a connection with the, with the Slack API. So I'm going to initialize a new variable called API, and then I'll invoke the client library using slack.new, and slack.new takes as input our uh, Slackbot user token. And to get the token, remember in the last video we set the token as an environment variable, so I'm now going to invoke uh, a OS method, uh, an OS function, os.getenv, so that I can get the environment variable uh, that has the the Slackbot user token. And I've called my environment variable Slackbot underscore token. So when we invoke the slack.new uh, function, we essentially get returned an instance of a um, Slack, uh, a client connection with the Slack API. So once we have that connection, we can then begin invoking uh, various methods to interact with the Slack API. And what we want to do is we want to post a message. And to do that, uh, we're going to initialize uh, several variables here. The first is channel ID, then the timestamp, and error if, uh, if there is any error returned from the function that we're about to call. So we're going to uh, invoke a member function of the API instance and that's called post message. And post message, as its name implies, allows us to post a message to a specified channel. And it returns the channel ID, timestamp, or an error if there is an error when you call this particular uh, endpoint. The first thing that we wanna specify in the uh, parameters of the post message function is the channel ID. And to get the channel ID, it's pretty simple. We can just go back to our browser here. I'm in uh, my workspace and I'm in the channel, the target channel that I want to send messages to. And if I look at the URL uh, here, the very last portion is the uh, channel ID. So the starting with C, uh, C01, this is the channel ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that channel ID I'm gonna come back to my editor, and in quotes, I'm gonna pass in that channel ID. And once we have that input parameter, the next one is we wanna specify optional text that we wanna send in the message. So I'm going to uh, invoke Slack, and I'm gonna do slack.message uh, option text. And this takes as input, uh, a string, which is gonna be our text message to the channel, and then also a Boolean, 
and the Boolean specifies whether or not the text is escaped. So uh, I'm just gonna say hello world, you know, something simple. And I'm gonna specify false uh, for the, the uh, Boolean. And those are all the arguments I'm gonna provide. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go down here and I'm gonna check if uh, we're returned in error. So if error is not equal to nil, then we'll print uh, the error. <clears throat> and return. Um, and then we'll, otherwise we'll print uh, message was successful and we'll utilize the uh, timestamp and the channel ID variables that were returned from the call to post message. So we'll just say message sent successfully to channel at and we'll specify the time so first argument is going to be the channel id and the second one is going to be the timestamp okay and that's really all we need to be able to actually send a, a message so let's go ahead and run this program uh, from the command line and see if it actually sends hello world to the general channel in slack so we should see in the general channel uh, hello world message from our new uh, bot user when we run the program. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my terminal here. And I'm already in the target directory, so I'm gonna say go run send basic message. And sure enough, I get a uh, hello world message in the general channel. And in the output of the program, it uh, specifies that it was sent to the, the channel uh, that I provided in the input parameters for the post message function as well as the timestamp. So when we use this Slack API client library, it makes doing things like sending a message to a channel in a, a Slack workspace pretty easy and straightforward. And in the next videos, we'll expand this example out. We'll write a Jenkins pipeline script and we'll also uh, add some additional logic to accommodate the Jenkins integration to our uh, Go program. If you're enjoying this series, please consider throwing a like on the videos and subscribing to the channel for more series like this. And thanks for watching.